So just a little update on what's going on with me. Um, been working on the 825i John Deere Gator. This is a 2012 model. Bought this new. Um, had to do a complete engine rebuild, and that's what I'm in the middle of now. Uh, just about complete. Um, ended up sucking water in the intake, and there you go. Didn't hurt any of the cylinders, but uh, we changed all pistons, rods, rings, all that stuff, bearings, whole nine yards. So I'm in the process of putting this back together now. But what uh, I do want to show you guys, this is going to be for the timing belt marks. There is nothing um, on YouTube on uh, this John Deere Gator 825i uh, as far as timing belt replacement. So I'm going to give you a couple part numbers and, uh, you know, for the belt and the tensioner. And I'm also going to show you the timing marks. So up top at your cam, you have a little dimple right there. Okay, that dimple has to be lined up right here. So it's basically straight up and down. There's a uh, indentation on the uh, aluminum housing. That's where the uh, cam pulley gets uh, lined up to. And then underneath, <clears throat> you have another mark right here on this one, another dimple on this, on the crank gear. And it actually gets lined up. I'll move my light a little bit. There we go. So that mark gets lined up with this little aluminum dimple on the case and that puts it in time. So as long as this and this are matched up and then of course the same way up on top as long as that dimple right there is matched up right back there uh, everything will be in time. So the thing that I've noticed that goes wrong as far as the timing is the uh, tensioner pulley. Um, I've replaced several of these tensioner pulleys uh, on this machine and uh, during the rebuild we're doing it again. We also have to put a new alternator on it, the alternator locked up at the same time. So I have that also, a little expensive booger. But anyway, this, uh, this tensioner is actually part number MIA 11700. That's the part number for the belt tensioner for the timing for the timing belt. The timing belt number is MIU 12499. Um, as soon as I get this thing back together and get it up and running, we are going to do a review between this machine and my 2016 um, Polaris Ranger 900 uh, XP. So you'll be surprised what I have to say about both machines. Um, but uh, yeah, this is this is one of the issues right here with the uh, with the John Deere Gator anyway. And the reason I sucked up water uh, in the crick was because right here underneath the seat is the air box. I chalk it up as being my fault. I should have uh, I should have moved that right up on the back of the rack here up here and that's what we're gonna do. Um, so you know I'll chalk that up as my fault but a poor design on John Deere's part. So stay tuned until next time this is just a quick video timing marks uh, for the uh, timing belt and how to put your Gator 825i in time. So until next time, guys, like, subscribe, hit the bell, leave some comments, ask questions. Thanks for watching.